It's now late October and the Ohio State quarterback situation has taken yet another turn. I'm Brian Clark at Cinesport talking about the Buckeyes with David Jablonski of the Dayton Daily News. And David, of course, that turn is JT Barrett is now the starting quarterback again instead of Cardell Jones. Why the switch? I think everyone saw this coming. Uh, Cardell Jones certainly had his chance. He didn't play terribly. Uh, in some of the games he played well. He got off to a good start at Virginia Tech. Uh, played well at times uh, over the next course of the next few games, but uh, also got taken out a couple times for JT Barrett. And uh, Barrett could have seized the job earlier in the season, but he didn't play well at times and said he was trying to do too much, trying to force things, and that's never a good recipe for success. But uh, Saturday, we finally saw the uh, a switch. Cardell really struggled, even on the short pass, it just couldn't hit him. Barrett came in and did everything he's done well in the last two games, and that's score in the red zone and even outside the red zone in this one. So he brings that extra touch to the offense, the running ability that can really make this offense go. So this week against Rutgers, does the offense change at all with Barrett now under control? Under center, as you mentioned, he runs a bit more, so that could be a wrinkle. How is it going to look? Well, we're going to see if it's the same offense that Barrett ran last season. He set all sorts of records. Of course, he won Big Ten quarterback of the year honor, so uh, they've got that going for him in this offense. Uh, but uh, this is an offense where Meyer likes to run. He likes to have a running quarterback. There was Braxton Miller before JT Barrett. Back in the day, Urban had Tim Tebow, who could run the ball too. So uh, it's a big extra weapon for an offense, uh, and they'll, they'll get a chance to get it humming here at Rutgers. That's Saturday night. JT Barrett under center for Ohio State. David Jablonski of the Dayton Daily News. Thanks, David.